Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla's shipping momentum for Q1 2022 is much stronger than Q4 2021, analysts suggest. Tesla Giga Texas 360-degree video previews an upcoming revolution in EV production. Tesla increases Model Y paint prices in Europe. Tesla updates Model Y specs with lower weights. And, Tesla inconspicuously shows off new Model S taillights in event listing. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla might have achieved record-setting vehicle deliveries in the fourth quarter of 2021, but a longtime TSLA bull recently noted that the company's numbers this Q1 2022 would likely be even better. Following his latest round of factory checks, global equities research analyst Trip Chowdhury weighed in on the company's current state. According to the analyst, the company's production, shipping, and delivery momentum are currently extremely solid, with delivery activity in the company being much stronger than the previous quarter. Chowdhury also estimated that Tesla Model S Plaid deliveries seem to be up about 15%. This should benefit Tesla's finances this first quarter, considering that the vehicle, a $130,000 all-electric car, has high margins. With this in mind, the global equities research analyst reiterated his $1,500 per share price target on TSLA, as well as his overweight trading. Signs that Tesla's Q1 2022 performance would be impressive could be hinted at in recent reports from both the Fremont factory and Gigafactory Shanghai. Chowdhury's recent factory checks aside, footage from Shanghai taken last month indicated that Tesla China is putting the pedal to the metal when it comes to exporting the Model 3 and Model Y. That being said, Tesla CEO Elon Musk also warned during the company's Q4 and FI 2021 earnings call that the chip shortage is still something that would have to be dealt with this year. Despite this, Tesla is still looking to achieve over 50% growth in vehicle deliveries this 2022. Moving to the next update, Tesla Giga Texas 360-degree video previews an upcoming revolution in EV production. A recently shot 360-degree footage of Tesla's Gigafactory Texas facility hints at what could very well be an upcoming revolution in electric vehicle production. The facility, which has been under construction for less than two years, is expected to start producing the Tesla Model Y before the end of the first quarter. The stunning 360-degree footage was shared by drone operator Joe Tegmeyer, who has been following Giga Texas progress since its earliest days. The video is particularly eye-catching because it captures just how massive Giga Texas is. Tegmeyer later remarked, that his drone lost about 50% of its battery just by flying around the facility once. More importantly, however, the footage shows just how integrated the company's EV production in Gigafactory Texas would be. Quite unlike the company's existing vehicle production sites, the Fremont factory and Gigafactory Shanghai, Giga Texas is a gigantic monolithic structure. Previous comments from CEO Elon Musk noted that the facility would have three main sections, with gaps between them being large enough for semi-trucks to move around in. This is where things get particularly interesting. Just last month, Bloomberg noted that Tesla's Fremont factory in California is currently the most productive car factory in the country. Averaging a weekly production rate of 8,550 vehicles per week, or about 51 cars per hour, the Fremont factory was more productive than other notable auto plants across the country. These include Toyota's plant in Georgetown, Kentucky, BMW's facility in South Carolina, and Ford's Dearborn, Michigan hub. It should be noted that Tesla's Fremont factory would likely be the company's least efficient vehicle production facility in the long run. Being a factory that was initially built to create internal combustion cars, the Fremont factory is not fully optimized to produce EVs. Gigafactory Texas is, and it was constructed and designed following the company's success in Gigafactory Shanghai, Tesla's first offshore electric vehicle plant. This suggests that Giga Texas, once fully ramped, would likely dwarf the Fremont factory in terms of output and sheer productivity. 
One of Elon Musk's visions for Tesla's electric vehicle plants involved a concept he fondly dubbed as the alien dreadnought, which is a factory that is so automated it would not look out of place in a high-budget sci-fi movie. Tesla attempted this in the Fremont factory and ultimately failed, as evidenced by the challenges faced by the company during the Model 3 ramp. With all the lessons Tesla has learned over the years, however, and with projects such as the Tesla bot coming in the future, perhaps Elon Musk's dreadnought might soon be feasible and perhaps built in Texas. Moving to the next update, Tesla increases Model Y paint prices in Europe. Tesla has gone in the opposite direction than it has in North America by raising prices for some of the Model Y paint options in Europe. Last year in Canada and the US, the automaker made Midnight Silver Metallic, one of the standard paint options, along with white. Recently, Tesla has increased the price of the Midnight Silver Metallic and Deep Blue Metallic paint options on the Model Y in several European countries. In Germany the price has increased by €1,000, making them both the same price as the premium red multi-code at €2,200. Owners in other European countries also reported similar price increases. In France, the price was increased to €2,100, while in the Czech Republic, it now costs €2,450. Making the price increase even more perplexing is that there were no similar changes for the Model 3. There have also been no changes to the paint prices in North America. So it would be interesting to see if this price change makes its way to North America in the coming days. Moving to the next update, Tesla updates Model Y specs with lower weights. Tesla has quietly made an update to their website, lowering the weight of both the Model Y long range and performance variants. Before the update, both variants were listed as weighing 4,416 pounds. The long range has seen the biggest weight reduction, now down 53 pounds to 4,363 pounds. The weight reduction for the performance was not as significant, dropping 18 pounds to 4,398 pounds. When seeing this, the question is, how was Tesla able to realize these lower weights for the electric SUV? Naturally the first response is to think it was because of the new structural battery packs and 4680 cells that are going to be in the Model Y out of Giga Texas. That could be the case, but a 53 pounds weight reduction doesn't seem to be enough for the savings from single piece front and rear castings and the new battery pack. Giga Texas also has not yet received its final approvals to begin production of customer cars. Tesla typically only updates their website once a new feature is in production and in cars ready for delivery. We also don't know if Tesla is going to continue making Model Ys with the current 2170 cells at Fremont. Tesla hasn't said otherwise, so if that's the case, then an update like this would be premature. Tesla did make one other change to specs page, updating the image of the Model Y long range to have the newer Matrix LED headlights. These have been on the performance variant for some time, but have yet to make it to the entry-level variant. It should be noted however, that the design studio still shows the two variants as having two different headlights, so this may also be another premature update. How do you think Tesla was able to lower the weights of the Model Y? Share your thoughts in the comments. Moving to the last update, Tesla inconspicuously shows off new Model S taillights in event listing. Tesla was planning to show off new Model S headlights and taillights at a special event in Taiwan last month. However, after pictures surfaced online a few hours before the event officially took place, Tesla strangely placed a car cover over the Model S, preventing anyone from seeing the car up close. Recently, Tesla inconspicuously shared an official image of the new taillights and integrated charge port door on their event's website. The new image is unfortunately not very high quality, but we can see the trim piece on the trunk no longer extends into the taillights. The illuminated section of the taillight is now also a little narrower, with a black section underneath. We also see the new charge port door, which can feature a CCS plug for those markets that use that charging standard. We still don't know when Tesla will add the new headlights and taillights to their production lines 
But with the unveiling of them last month, and this new image appearing on the website recently, it should happen very soon. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.